Hi, it's Natasha from HousefullofNickels.com, and I've been doing a Instagram or an Instagram series um, about head wraps lately. It's only had it only has three head wraps on there, so uh, bear with me. But I did decide to shoot um, a quick video to show those of you who have been showing interest in the head wraps how I do mine. Um, the shape of them completely depends on how I wrap and how I pull up and everything. So I'll just let you know quickly the, the, the logistics of doing the wrap and then you can kind of play around with it like I do. So I start off with um, a yard or two of fabric. Today I'm working with um, a chambray fabric that I think I got from Joanne Fabrics. I have no idea. I have so much fabric, it's ridiculous. So, um, bear with me. So I take the short end of the fabric, not the long end. You don't want to go the whole width because that's what's going to give you length. You want to start with the short end and you fold it wrong side to wrong side. And the wrong side is usually the side that if you were to wear it in public, you wouldn't want people to see it. It's normally the side that faces your skin when you're putting clothing on. Okay. So you want to fold it down maybe two or three inches, depending on, you know, what you want to do. And you want to take that crease that you have. Okay. So the right side of the fabric, the longer piece, the right side of the fabric, and you want to put it right at your hairline and pull it around. And then take the two short ends and tie at the base of your hairline. Okay, don't tie too tight because if you do, you'll cut off, you will cut off your circulation and you don't want to do that. And then you want to pull it up and over your head like this. So the tops of your ears will be in it and you want to make sure that it's all out and that you don't have any hair sticking out of any of the edges. And whatever way you are comfortable wrapping, so if that's this way, so that is counterclockwise, you can do it that way. I'm comfortable wrapping clockwise. So I make sure that my raw edges are inside when I'm wrapping around my head. And then I wrap. And I start high first and pull taut as I'm going around. Okay? And always come back underneath the knot that I made in the back. Hold it taut. And then I tuck into that crease that I made. I tuck into that crease that I made. And then... I fix as I want. This I like because it's high um, and it, it, it presented several ridges and several layers and everything. So I like doing that and this is how I would keep it. I normally put um, loop earrings at the auto show that I went to on Tuesday. I had crocheted, blue crocheted earrings. They were granny squares uh, that match this because it's a sort of denim. It's chambray. And um, that's all I did. So that's the base of what I start with. Sometimes it's low and big. So it kind of looks like a, a halo of sorts on my head. And then sometimes I just wrap it low and then um, I will twist a ball around the back of the, the knot that I made. So then it's flat and then I have a big ball in the back. But that's essentially what I do. I hope it helped you some. Have a great day. Bye-bye.